Hey, what's up, all you crazy wobblers? I just hit 75K. You know what that means? I'm not gonna make any money off YouTube, but at least I have a lot of people watching me. <laughs> That's a lie, buddy. Your views are going down. Nobody cares. You're slowly falling into the pit of non-relevance. Would you look at that, buddy boys? 75k plus like 449. So for reaching such a crazy milestone, I decided to say, hey, draw me some comments. And you know what? <coughs> <coughs> I'll answer them. And you guys delivered. So let's get right into these questions. 75k QA. Lit. Ah! <laughs> So here's some of your guys' questions. Oh, thank you for the 75K. Let's just get right into this, all right? Strange Matt TV says, question, how long have you been doing YouTube before you took off past the sort of 1K slash 10K mark? I hear the first thousand is the hardest. Do you find that to be the same? <laughs> well, buddy, I've been doing this for five years and uh, <laughs> those first four years weren't very good to me. <laughs> Twap his wife says, is your beard ever gonna grow in? Because of your comment, I decided to shave my beard today a little bit, and now I look like a freaking second string varsity football player from high school that tells the entire class that there's a football game that he's actually not gonna be playing in today. So, <laughs> thank you for making me insecure. A biker says, what is the meaning of life? Now you know what, as long as you have Nathan's hot dogs, a fine chick to take out on dates, and Netflix every now and then with access to a Hulu account as well, you're doing well. Being happy is everything. And you know what? Having flushable wipes that make your butt feel good after pooping, that's the meaning of life right there, buddy. My life has no meaning. Jesscraft says, how do you feel about all the updates Hulk puts into Rust? I can say a few things about this. It's not Daisy. Daisy's the whole reason I ever got into like buying a computer in the first place. And that game is complete ass and the developers are complete ass. It's really nice to have someone like Helk and the Rust development team that honestly puts all their time and effort into making it a better game. But I also think because they update it so much, they have some things that are bad and some things that are good, but that's just the process of making a game. So I, I appreciate his hard work and I think Rust is a really good game because of him. The Notorious says, would you rather be a YouTube sensation or an Instagram sensation? <laughs> well, have you ever seen the Instagram trending page? It's sick, dude. Nothing like some good old Instagram comedy to really put myself to sleep. Uh, no, I, I hate Instagram. I think it's a stupid. It's only meant for like talking to artists, but Twitter is way better. So I love YouTube. <laughs> Aqua FPS, also known as Dan, says, what's your favorite foods? Love you, Mr. Wobble. <laughs> Uh, my favorite food has to be ramen. I, I love ramen. And then like, I also like hot dogs equally as much. So between the two, I can really, I can be happy with, you know, death. If I was on death row and I had to eat either or, so. Robin Hauser says, are you a Jake Pollard? Or are you some sort of dat low gang? You know what, most people would think I'm a low gang, right? But I've actually met Logan Paul and <laughs> he's a dick. I think Jake Paul might actually be nice due to the things that I've heard about him from friends and friends of friends of him. So I think he's just a guy that like is depressed and just acting out. Whereas Logan is just like fake positive and I don't like people like that. So Jake Pauler for life. Georgie Shantov says, not to be offensive or anything, but will you ever lose weight? I'm sort of fat myself. Well, I'm actually gonna start doing something where I'm gonna try to take care of myself and uh, I'm gonna get a personal trainer, so we'll see. I, I want to, I always have wanted to. It's always in the back of my mind. It's just <laughs> really hard. So like all my streams are just gonna go towards personal training. So if you wanna <laughs> give me skinny, one of my really good friends and also he happens to be my roommate, Marcus Veltri, also known as Omegle Piano Dude, asked me, <laughs> If you have to pick one, would you rather give up Rust or Del Taco? Um, honestly, I, I would probably keep playing Rust, considering, <laughs> like, a lot of you like me for Rust, so, 
probably would give up Del Taco, although I, I really, really do like Del Taco, that's great. Jacob Engheim says, what are you studying in school currently? Um, a, a BA in business administration with a focus in marketing. James Box says, would you ever do a video on Omegle, like a fan meetup type thing? Yeah, I probably would. You know, I uh, don't really do Omegle videos much, but seeing as I do live with one of the biggest Omegle YouTubers, I probably should probably <laughs> hit that up. <laughs> so. Expect it one day. Follow me on Twitter, then you can be in the video. Harris Rehan says, What's the origin story behind Mr. Wobbles? P.S. Love you. Yes, homo. Honestly, I was like 16 and I was smoking weed for the first time and I thought it was funny and then I chose it. And every time I tried to change my name after that, people were like, No, nah, you're, you're Mr. Wobbles. You're not, you're nothing else. This is who you are. So, that's my origin story. Ostara says, when will you be open for fan mail? Now, I actually have a P.O. box. It's in the description and I'm gonna start putting it in the descriptions of everything, but I didn't know what to do with mail time videos, but like now I really know what to do with mail time videos and my idea is really cool. So if you guys wanna send me mail, hit that up. Wiz Gaming says, would you ever wear Heelys as of today, like right now? Shoes with the wheels on them. I know what Heelys are, dude, okay? I know what Heelys are. If you sent me Heelys, size 13, I'm size 13. I would honestly probably wear them every single day. Mike C says, do you know how to beatbox? Lately you seem a little bit rusty. <laughs> GBZ says, do you have any series planned later or in the future? I have this idea for a series that I got off Faceless, which is Living Off The Loot. It's one of my favorite Rust series ever, but I wanna do like Living Off The Music and I just sing for people and I don't do any PVP and I just kinda of get items based on people singing for me and I would just make a series out of that because it's easy and I already kinda of do it, so. Skurin says, what inspired you to pursue music? Honestly, I don't really pursue music anymore. I just kind of like care about entertaining and if music is a way to do that, then I do it. I used to really care about, you know, street performing and getting gigs and stuff like that. And now I'm just like, ha ha, that didn't help me at all in any way, shape or form. Ha ha, no one ever paid me. Ha ha, let's work on YouTube because <laughs> it's nice having your own platform. Stimpy, also known as Australian Father says, hi Wobbles, big fan and longtime subscriber. A long time sub, more like two months, you freaking lying meanie head. How dare you say long time subscriber. I don't like that very much. My question is, what is your dream job? If it involves YouTube or streaming, what kind of videos do you want to make going into the future? Also, congrats on 75K. My dream job is obviously to keep doing this and then going farther than YouTube and music and stuff like that. But for my video ideas, I kind of want to do public videos, gaming videos, and then entertainment slash like informative videos, so. <laughs> Dakota is broken says, would you be willing to suck a dick for $20 billion or never make money again? That's um, that's kind of a steep playing field you got there, bud. I would suck a dick for way cheaper than $20 billion. So, you know, probably suck a dick. Erectified says, do you prefer women with dicks or men with vaginas? Traps aren't gay. Tyler W says, do you plan on integrating your degree you are earning with your passion for music? If so, how? Congrats on the 75K, homie. I still have bets that you will be at 100K by the end of the year. That's uh, <laughs> high hopes there, buddy. I, I don't know, I'm getting a degree in marketing because I feel like it's the best thing to have in terms of understanding what to do with business and music, but also learning how to network and you know maintaining relationships and stuff like that, which is something <laughs> I'm horrible at. PVTCH Beatbox says, where are the weekly beats, boy? Uh, where were the views on them? <laughs> boy. Cyber Gaming says, ever think of collabing with Sir Winner or Vertigo? Honestly, if they wanted to collab with me, I'd be really happy because those are two of the most influential people on me for like the gaming thing. I wanted to do gaming because I watched their videos and I really like Sir Winter. So if you want to collab, man, just uh, drop, uh, you know, a message in the DM and I'll, I'll sing for like a video of yours. Come on, man, please, please do. So yeah, I guess thank you for 75K. I hope you guys have a balanced diet and good poops and thank you, uh, bye. <laughs>